Hi students, how are you all? Welcome to PW English. This is MB Sir Physics. Today we are going to discuss about complete summary of magnetism and matter beta. So as everyone know that this chapter is very very important chapter for NEET as well as for JWE. Okay. So from this chapter, 99% he will ask you the formula based question itself beta. Okay. Mainly you have to learn all the formulas present in this chapter. Okay. So this one is important for your board also. Okay. So which concept or which topic you used to get in board exam. I will be telling you that one also. Okay. Right beta. So from this chapter in neat exam you will be getting one question. Okay. And in JW also you will be getting one question beta. Okay. So in this class, I'm going to cover all the key points present in each and every topic, Becca. Okay. And one more thing. So uh, in the beautiful manner, I'm going to explain this one. So the main thing is I used to compare. Okay. So I'll be comparing the electric charges and field formulas and magnetism and matter formulas beta okay i used to compare these two okay so if we write side by side then easily we can identify the difference and easily we can remember that one okay half of the chapter half of the chapter will be uh, if you are perfect in electric charges and feel then half of the chapter this one you will be getting beta is it clear very good so all of you note down each and every point and remember all the formulas. Okay. So I'll be telling you which formula in which condition you have to use that one. Is it clear? Right. So without wasting any time, let us start the class. Before starting the class, all of you open your book and pen start writing all the topics. Is it clear? Yes, beta. So today we are going to discuss about this bar magnet as a magnetic dipole and next magnetic dipole moment and next magnetic field due to magnetic dipole on the axis okay magnetic field due to magnetic dipole on equatorial line okay next magnetic field due to magnetic dipole at any point in space torque on bar magnet kept in uniform magnetic field potential energy due to magnet dipole kept in magnetic field at the magnetism okay right beta so till here i used to compare the formulas present in electric charges and field and magnetism and matter so both the formulas okay the formulas present in electric charges and field and the magnetism and matter so almost same beta okay 99 percent they are same okay ah, not 99 percent 100 percent we can tell okay 100% they are same beta just we have to replace some terms that's it okay so just we, we have to replace some uh, letters that's it I will show you the difference also okay what exactly we have to do okay so uh, this is like buy one get one free okay yes beta so see here uh, next angle of dip angle of declination tangent galvanometer dia para and ferromagnetism see here this is a very important okay this one is very important so in j or else in neat exam most of the questions you will be getting direct direct question from this dia para and ferromagnetism beta okay so you have to learn each and every point which is present in your ncrt book okay direct question theory based question you will be getting from this topic okay right beta so you have to learn this each and every point in this one okay ah rest of the topics you we can compare that one and there are some few formulas you have to buy hard that one beta okay right so see here as everyone know regarding the summary series summary is nothing but after finishing the chapter your teacher used to explain that complete chapter in 10 to 15 minutes right so in that 15 minutes he used to cover the important key points of the chapter right that key points you have to remember the, in the same manner so i have written here all the key points present in each and every topic and i have written the shortcut tricks also here okay so i'll be explaining you 
in which condition we have to use the formula okay in which case we have to use the formula okay right beta chalo let us start then so ah uh, so one more thing ah uh, heteresis loop and soft iron and hard iron also we have okay next uh, bar magnet as a magnetic dipole now see here beta bar magnet as a magnetic dipole as everyone know that in a bar magnet bar magnet is nothing but which is of rectangular shaped magnet na yes so in a magnet we have a north and south poles right so there we call yeah it called as a pole strength okay the strength which is present at the poles is called as pole strength okay see here beta so at north and south pole we have a pole strength they are, they will be indicated by a symbol small m okay right next uh, magnetic length magnetic length is nothing but the distance between the north pole and the south pole okay is called as magnetic length the length of the magnet is called as magnetic length we call so generally uh, see here somewhat mistake is there here okay the magnetic length is still here itself beta okay not till the corners okay the magnetic length will be present somewhat inside okay not till edges okay ha huh. so if you calculate from edge to edge length edge to edge length so it is called as a geometrical length but the magnetic length somewhat will it will be in inside beta okay somewhat little bit it will be in inside the length between the north pole and the south pole of a magnet is called as magnetic length okay so the length is what 2l beta is it clear now so regarding the dipole we have discussed in electric charge assigned field right am i right correct so now see here beta electric dipole and this is what magnetic dipole dipole is nothing but two equal but opposite charges no so they are called as a electric dipole so here north and south pole we have here okay in magnetic dipole okay here we take the charges here we take the pole strength beta okay remember this all the things okay right the distance between these two charges is what 2l only okay see here beta so how we are comparing is the positively charged okay the positively charged we consider as a north pole and for the negatively charged we consider it as a south pole is it clear so i am considering north pole as a positively charged south pole as a negatively charged okay remember this one is it clear now now what is the magnetic length magnetic length is nothing but 0.84 times of geometric length okay geometric length is nothing but so from here edge to edge geometric length is nothing but edge of the bar magnets okay right beta so the magnetic length will be always 0.84 times of its geometric length beta okay let us assume that if the bar magnet has a geometric length of 100 cm if the length of the bar magnet is if the length of the bar magnet is 100 cm then what is its magnetic length what is its magnetic length it is about 84 cm okay it is about 84 cm beta okay remember this one chal so let us move forward okay so now comparison beta okay so here i am writing the electric charges and field formula and here i am writing this magnetism okay magnetism and matter formula beta okay so see here electric dipole moment is denoted by symbol capital p magnetic dipole momentum is denoted by symbol capital m okay right beta so here we have a charges here we have a pole strength correct ha huh. the length is 2l here also the length is 2l okay the magnet uh, electric dipole moment formula is q into 2l yes here the magnetic dipole moment formula is what m into 2l am i right as or no just comparing beta just i am so note down the all the points beta okay so these are 100% useful for your jw as well as for the neat as well as for the board exam also okay right so write down this one very neatly okay ah. now see here beta ah. what is the direction what is the direction of the 
electric dipole moment electric dipole moment direction is always taken from the negative charge to the positive charge okay negative to positive beta okay and here the direction is always taken from south pole to north pole okay in magnetic dipole moment direction is always taken from south to north of course correct only na so for south we consider as a negatively charged and this as a positively charged am i right yes south to north is it clear beta okay 99% they are same correct ha see here the magnetic dipole moment we have a two formula okay for the magnetic dipole moment we have a two formula one is due to bar magnet and one is due to current carrying coil one is due to the current carrying coil is it clear ah uh, so if a current is passing inside this coil okay if a current is passing inside this coil definitely you ah uh, it produces okay or uh, it ah uh, it acts as a magnetic dipole okay see here so in the last class we have discussed this one na? so here is the north pole and here is the south pole okay so the magnetic dipole moment formula due to the current carrying coil is what current into area current into area okay magnetic dipole moment for the magnetic dipole moment we have a two formulas one is due to the bar magnet and one is due to the current carrying coil beta okay right so current is i and the area cross section of this one is i am writing the a is it clear beta okay is it clear ha uh, chal so till here it is clear for you all now so this is what a bar magnet i have taken this is a north pole and this is a south pole as everyone know that the magnetic field lines always moves from a north pole to the south pole that is outside the magnet right but inside the magnet the magnetic field lines always moves from south to north pole is it clear correct so north to south which is outside and south to north inside okay now tell me the magnetic field strength formula okay uh, order i want okay so wherever the magnetic field lines are more it means that the magnetic field strength is also more there okay the magnetic field is more here at point a why sir magnetic field lines are more if magnetic field lines are more then magnetic field will be more am i right mm. chal so magnetic field at point a is very high compared to b compared to c am i right correct so now so the magnetic field lines will never interact okay like this okay never intersect like this okay so let this be the first magnetic field line i am taking this is second one i am taking in order to calculate the direction of the magnetic field what you have to do is you have to draw a tangent like this okay the magnetic field produced due to this one is b2 and the magnetic field which is produced due to this one is b1 i am considering okay the angle between these two is theta okay of course so if the two magnetic fields are present and the angle is present of course we get a net magnetic field right correct so this is the direction of b net but this is not possible this is not possible okay is it clear so in a bar magnet we have a magnetic field lines na yes so they will be never interact okay never intersect like this is it clear mm. chalo so now ha see here electric field due to electric dipole on the axis okay so on the axis is nothing but so this is a negative charge this is a positive charge and at this point okay this point is nothing but axial line axial line okay so at this point we have to calculate let this be the point a i am considering okay at this point we have to calculate the electric field intensity due to this dipole okay right beta see here this is what origin i am taking o okay remember this one the r smaller distance is always taken from the origin okay from o itself okay o to this point is it clear beta now so electric field on the axis due to the dipole what we got beta 2 kp by r cube right so here k is nothing but 1 by 4 pi x plus not am i right am i right is it clear chalo now magnetic field due to magnetic dipole so the in place of electric dipole i have taken the magnetic dipole okay axial line is nothing but this one okay chalo so the distance from the this o and this point be the smaller i am taking okay 
right so here we are taking the electric field but here we have to take the magnetic field correct chalo so what is the formula we got here 2 kp by r cube and here 2 km okay in place of p you have to write the capital m beta is it clear 2 km by r cube so here k is nothing but what mu not by 4 pi just remember this one the formulas are same right just interchange this one okay just replace the p with m that's it that's it both are same na ha the k value is different that's it here okay here is a mu not by 4 pi okay i right, next so axis to 2k b 2kp uh, by r cube just now we have written this one na ha so he will ask you the direction what is the electric field intensity direction and the electric dipole moment direction okay both are in same direction here the angle between electric field intensity and the electric dipole momentum is zero just remember okay here also the same thing what is the direction of magnetic field intensity and the magnetic dipole moment again zero degree only both are in same direction itself okay remember he may ask you okay just i am comparing beta okay just i am comparing okay so that you can learn two formulas at a time if you are perfect in this one of course you can do by yourself okay next so magnetic field due to the magnetic dipole on equatorial okay equatorial is nothing but which is perpendicular to the dipole is nothing but a equatorial okay now see here beta this is the dipole and this is the l this is the l just now i said you the r distance always taken from point o right so this is the r okay at this point we have to calculate the electric field intensity okay what is the electric field intensity on the equatorial we got kp by r cube right kp by r cube p is nothing but what electric dipole moment na ha so in the same manner okay in the same manner you know in case of magnetic dipole okay what we get beta okay sorry here so you have to write the b here okay uh, so the magnetic dipole okay the magnetic field intensity due to the magnetic dipole on the equatorial what you get beta km by r cube just replacing wherever you observe the p just replace it with capital m that's it beta that's it okay now he will ask you the direction okay in equatorial okay in uh, on the equatorial line what is the electric field intensity and the electric dipole moment direction they will be 100% opposite in direction okay uh, so he may ask you in this one also okay what is the direction of the magnetic field intensity okay magnetic field intensity magnetic field okay mm. magnetic field intensity and the magnetic dipole moment again it is 180 degrees itself okay right beta now the magnetic field due to magnetic dipole in space okay so at any point in space so here in question he may give you okay so uh, so just acha see here uh, the diagrams has been interchanged here right so see here write down this one as a south pole okay this is a south pole and this is a north pole okay this is a north pole okay chalo so this is in space so this is in a magnetic field and this is a electric field okay so this is a negatively charged okay write down the dipoles and this is what positively charged okay so there is a printing mistake here okay is it clear beta ah. so if an electric dipole so this is a electric dipole have taken so you have to calculate the electric field intensity due to this dipole at any point in space so here it is making let us assume that it is making some angle theta okay let us assume that this is making some angle theta okay so this is a uh, south pole this is a north pole na ha so here is a bar magnet okay this is a bar magnet so draw properly beta okay is it clear so let us do one thing okay so this is what negatively charged this is what positively charged the distance separated by them is what 2l am i right so at this point a you have to find out the electric field intensity okay what is this one this distance is what smaller correct uh, so uh, so draw the here okay draw this one this is a south pole and this is what north pole okay this is what center and from here to here the distance separated by them is what 2l na mm. 
so at this point a you have to calculate the magnetic field intensity due to magnetic dipole okay right beta so what is the formula you will get okay in exam he will give you the angle theta okay definitely so according to my guess he may ask you the question okay based on this topic he may ask you okay so electric field intensity at end point in phase what is the formula kp by rq 1 root of 3 cos square theta plus 1 and here yeah magnetic field intensity due to magnetic dipole okay at any point in space just km by r cube under root of 3 cos square theta plus 1 okay just replace the p with the m that's it okay you know the k value here na 1 by 4 pi exponent here mu naught by 4 pi okay remember this one okay mu naught by 4 pi here is so 1 by 4 pi it is exponent naught beta okay right next torque on bar magnet kept in uniform magnetic field okay so here torque on bar magnet due to the magnetic dipole in a uniform magnetic field okay so see here torque due to so uh, so electric dipole so here it is a mistake you got okay electric dipole so here it's a elastic dipole they mentioned okay so it is wrong okay torque due to electric dipole as everyone know that we have learned this one in electric charges sign field what happened if we keep a dipole in a electric field of course a torque produced on it okay torque gives what turning effect to the body right see here i have taken a dipole i have kept in a uniform electric field what happens of course it rotates like this no? rotation is a but so there is some torque is produced here okay and here torque due to magnetic dipole okay due to magnetic dipole okay so i have taken a magnet here okay i have kept in a uniform magnetic field what happens of course it get turns okay turns is nothing but torque okay now let us see the formula for this one what is the torque formula we got p bar cross e bar please beta okay please remember this one okay 100 percent you have to remember beta so as everyone know the how to solve the cross product numerical do you know how to solve the cross product numericals see here if you don't know just uh, practice the numericals from a vector chapter okay see here beta so however the formula is present in the same manner however the formula is present okay cross product formula you have to by heart that one okay don't write e here and p here if they are perpendicular no problem okay so whatever the formulas cross product pres uh, cross product formulas present in physics book okay whatever the cross product formulas present in physics book learn as it is better just copy paste like a xerox okay you have to learn like that only okay don't interchange this one cross product numericals you have to mug up that one as it is okay uh, next condition is what torque and the electric dipole and the electric field intensity this should be perpendicular to each other Hamesha, okay every time they should be perpendicular this is a speciality of the cross product in cross product everyone should be perpendicular to each other it look like a 3d okay if they are not in if they are not in perpendicular to each other uh, if they are not in 3d make them in 3d okay make them in 3d beta okay this should be 100 percent remember 100 percent remember that it should be in 3d if they are not perpendicular if they are not perpendicular to each other then make them perpendicular by using the components okay make them perpendicular to each other okay to calculate the direction of torque so use right hand thumb rule right use right hand thumb rule okay so take your right hand okay see here so keep your move your fingers move your fingers from p to e okay fingers finger should be p to e okay thumb indicates thumb indicate direction of torque okay thumb indicate direction of torque okay see here better so i'll tell you uh, i'll tell you the direction of torque in this one okay so tell me the what is the uh, torque formula p bar cross e bar sir how to remember this one is there any trick yes 
directly remember it is a potential energy torque equal to potential energy pe okay remember as it is okay ha so use the right hand thumb rule beta right hand thumb rule okay take your right hand move your fingers okay first of all tell me the direction of uh, electric dipole in this direction correct am i right yes yeah. so finally electric field is in in this direction right correct ha uh -huh. so take your fingers okay is it clear mm. now keep your fingers in the direction of electric dipole okay next move your fingers towards the electric field okay move to your uh, move your fingers towards the electric field so finally the what is the direction of torque you got sir inverse okay what is the direction of torque you, you got inverse na uh, so p is in in this direction and e is in in this direction correct am i right yes now tell me uh, i said you na this should be perpendicular to each other if they are not perpendicular make them perpendicular okay so finally what you get beta wherever theta is present there you have to write cos theta exactly 90 degrees what you have to write sin theta correct so this becomes what sin theta am i right am i right correct now they are perpendicular to each other uh, uh, which component uh, sir p sin theta and e are perpendicular if they are not perpendicular please beta this is a very 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 important beta point okay so this trick is applicable from kg to phd beta this trick is applicable from kg to phd wherever you observe the formulas okay cross product formulas mainly cross product formulas you have to solve the numerical like this only if they are not perpendicular see here in the beginning they are not perpendicular but i make them perpendicular one is a p sin theta and one is a e right uh, next what you have to do from we have to move our finger from p to e na uh, so perpendicular is what p sin theta so i am moving my fingers from p sin theta to e okay so finally what we got beta thumb is going inside right thumb is in inverse okay inverse is nothing but so one is a p sin theta one is a p sin theta and one is a e these two are perpendicular to each other okay inverse is nothing but minus k cap correct as everyone know na if you go up it is j cap if you go here i cap if you go down minus j cap if you go in this direction it is a minus i cap correct okay if you go inwards it is minus k cap if you go outwards it is plus k cap you got na so you got an idea how to solve the numericals na in the same manner the same copy paste will be applicable over here okay so here if theta is present between these two you get what p sin theta okay the same copy paste beta uh, just replace the p with m okay and replace the e with magnetic field intensity b is it clear now potential energy due to magnetic dipole okay in magnetic field now see here potential energy due to magnetic dipole kept in a uniform magnetic field so here i am again uh, comparing okay due to the electric dipole what is the potential energy we got pe minus pe cos theta we got what we got minus pe cos theta sir for the tor we got pe sin theta correct ah so ah so the main thing is you have to remember this one only this one only okay ah p sin theta okay right sir how to remember the potential energy formula just do the integration of this one do the integration of this one okay so you'll get a, this one minus pe cos theta you'll get okay Chal, so you got okay ah uh, if theta 1 and theta 2 are present so apply the boundary condition pe cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 in the same manner just copy paste here okay due to the magnetic dipole okay due to the electric field and due to the magnetic field okay here uh. potential energy minus mb cos theta if theta 1 and theta 2 are present just copy paste beta copy paste i said you na 50% of the chapter will be similar with the electric charges and fields beta okay so different cases of torque and potential energy in electric field this is in case of electric field okay different cases of torque and potential in electric field in the next slide i will show you the magnetic field okay i will show you for magnetic field this is for electric field if theta equal to 0 degrees we call it as stable equilibrium if theta equal 180 degrees we call it as unstable equilibrium na so tor formula what we got pe sin theta if theta is present 
okay potential energy what we got minus pe cos theta okay is it clear now so uh, substitute the theta value zero in both case write down the values substitute the theta value 180 degrees and write down this one and this one okay torque and potential energy i in substitute the theta value 90 degrees okay theta value 90 degrees i in write down this one okay i in substitute the theta value 270 degrees here okay i in write down this one okay torque and potential energy okay this is a similar uh, simple way okay i in the same case same copy paste copy paste different cases of torque and potential in magnetic field this is in magnetic field okay is it clear beta <laughs> now same copy paste tor formula which one you will use okay mb sin theta you will use potential energy what you get minus mb cos theta is it clear is it clear right beta so mb sin theta here is minus mb cos theta okay now substitute the theta value zero once write down the cases and substitute the theta value 90 degrees write down the cases and once uh, next is the 270 degrees write down the cases and next uh, substitute the uh, 0 90 180 270 na uh, first zero next 180 sorry first zero next 90 next 180 next 270 okay substitute this one you'll get this one okay ah uh, this is a time period ah uh, pe i have written na uh, ah uh, when we when a dipole is placed in a electric field when electric dipole is placed in a electric field so when we displace this one what happens it will be vibrating like this na no? yes so we, which is in stable equilibrium now correct when theta equal to 0 degrees it is in stable equilibrium i said you know oh. stable equilibrium this is a stable equilibrium right so no torque will be present here na no? oh. so when you touch this one what happen it will be vibrating like this so it will be oscillating like this right so it has some time period time taken to complete one oscillation is called as time period correct uh, that time period is 2 pi root of i by pe okay i is nothing but moment of inertia moment of inertia okay here time period the magnet okay in magnetic field i have kept the bar magnet i have displaced this one what happened it will be oscillating like this okay right beta so the time period time taken to complete one oscillation is what time period okay so 2 pi root of i by mb okay i is also here what moment of inertia of a bar magnet moment of inertia of bar magnet ml square by 12 you have to take na for bar magnet ml square by 12 is it clear so what you get here the moment of inertia 2m r square to r else 2m l square na so i can't explain you detail beta as this one is a summary series in summary i have to cover only the key points for you okay right beta so let us move forward at the magnetism so at the magnetism everyone know this one right so this is what magnetic south pole sm is nothing but magnetic south pole this is what magnetic north pole okay and this one is what geo uh, geographic south pole geographic north pole okay as everyone know that the magnetic field lines always move most from a magnetic south pole to the magnetic north pole correct magnetic south pole to the magnetic north pole okay the angle between these two is what 11.3 degrees okay so uh, this one is what magnetic equator and this one is what geographic equator beta okay right so angle of dip so it is denoted by symbol delta okay angle of dip is denoted by symbol delta okay so a magnetic needle which is free to rotate in vertical plane is called as angle of dip beta okay yes is placed in a various places on the earth surface correct the needle align with the earth magnetic field lines with the north pole of a needle pointing towards the magnetic north pole right so the magnetic north pole always so magnetic compass always shows the magnetic north pole right correct uh, at this instant the angle made by the needle with the horizontal to the earth surface is called as what angle of dip beta okay right so this you may get for the two marks okay in your board exam see here beta so ge this is geographic south pole geographic north pole okay so the magnetic field lines are moving like this geographic uh, sorry uh, okay so geographic uh, yes so here uh, see here geographic they have mentioned 
okay so the magnetic field lines always move from a magnetic magnetic south pole to the magnetic north pole right magnetic south pole to magnetic north pole okay so you can take the magnetic south pole okay you can take that one also chalo so let it be so finally this is a uh, like this they were moving na okay is it clear so this one is a very simple no doubt for anyone okay ha when you keep a when you keep a magnetic compass over here okay so at that time so it doesn't shows any deflection okay it shows in a in this direction okay this is what horizontal this is what horizontal magnetic field okay horizontal at the magnetic field is it clear now at this time it shows a angle of dip is what 0 degrees when you move, move the magnetic compass and with you keep it here what happens at that time it shows the 90 degrees the magnetic compass shows the 90 degrees okay at that time your delta value becomes 90 degrees at this point beta okay at poles it shows the 90 degrees is it clear ah somewhere somewhere it shows what somewhere you will be getting angle of dip like this okay north pole is here na it is showing this one this is what horizontal at the magnetic field and this is a vertical component okay horizontal and vertical you horizontal and this is a vertical okay this is what delta angle of dip angle of dip always angle is always taken from a horizontal component of at the magnetism okay horizontal component of at the magnetic field okay so finally this one is what magnetic field of the earth so from here you can write down tan delta equal to v by h correct correct now angle of declination what is angle of declination see here we have a geometric meridian okay so at any point on earth surface the angle between the geographic meridian and the magnetic meridian is called as a angle of declination so this is what beta geographic meridian and this is what beta magnetic meridian okay the angle between these two planes these two planes okay is called as what angle of declination is it clear see here this is a one okay this is one plane and this is a one more plane okay this is what geographic meridian and this is what magnetic meridian where the magnetic field lines are present okay of course everyone know that in magnetic meridian only we will get a magnetic okay uh, angle of dip right in magnetic meridian only we get the angle of dip okay mm. this is what horizontal at the magnetism okay i'm um, horizontal at the magnetic field and this one is what vertical component of the field okay right beta so this one is finished na now if the needle is not present in earth the magnetic field at that time uh, see here so this is what okay this is our earth magnetic field okay magnetic meridian this is what originally it is a magnetic meridian okay now now so one more uh, so here the angle of dip is not present inside this one okay in this meridian okay so which is making some angle alpha here okay alpha so this is what horizontal component of at the magnetic field right so i am taking the component so wherever theta is present there you get cos theta na h cos alpha you got okay h cos alpha okay of course vertical always remains same na vertical so this is what another plane okay uh in this plane in this plane it is making some angle of dip okay what is that one delta dash okay ah uh, so what is the delta dash for now v by h cos alpha okay you can write down this one also okay tan delta dash is equal to tan delta by cos alpha also you can call okay ah uh, now this is what apparent dip apparent dip is nothing but the angle of dip which is present in another plane in another plane is called as apparent dip to, okay in some other plane so you may get you may get a question from this topic okay uh, in the previous year questions you got so many times okay based on these formulas only okay right beta next uh, apparent dip into vertical planes at right angle to each other okay these two are the planes these two are the other planes which are 90 degrees to each other okay this is our original Ma horizontal magnetic field this is a vertical beta okay let this be a plane be the first plane and this be the 
second plane this two are 90 degrees to each other remember this one okay so which is making some angle alpha okay the other one becomes what 90 minus alpha only no? uh, so here it becomes the h sin alpha and this becomes the h cos alpha so here the main the angle of dip in this plane is delta 1 and the angle of dip in this plane is I am taking as a delta 2. Okay. Right beta. The angle of dip in the original plane in the magnetic meridian is this one. No? Okay. So in delta 1 you will get this one. In delta 2 you will get this one. Just remember this one. Okay. Solving by this. Okay. In neat exam he asks you this formula. Direct to formula he asks you. Okay. Just remember this one. Next. So tangent galvanometer. So in tangent galvanometer, everyone know. Okay. So as the current increases, the deflection also increases, right? Mm. In a tangent galvanometer. So tangent galvanometer. Here we use the tan theta, correct? So B by H. Okay. Right, better. So B equal to H tan theta we got. Okay. What is the magnetic field we get here? Mu naught I by four pi r into two pi, correct? As or no? So if you learn the concept, it becomes very easy. Okay. So to explain completely detailly about this one, it take lot of time, beta. Just I'm covering the key points now. Just remember this point. It is sufficient. Okay. Uh, you may learn this chapter uh, in your academy schools, right? Right, beta. So mu naught n i. Okay. Mu naught n i by two r. See here. This is what two two zana. So pi pi get cancelled. Mu naught n i by 2R, magnetic field, what you got? Mu naught Ni by 2R. Okay, mu naught Ni by 2R you got. Okay. So finally, I is equal to K tan theta. As, as current increases, as the current increases in a tangential galvanometer, the deflection also increases. The angle also increases, right? It is directly proportional. Okay. Just remember the formula. That's it. That's it. Okay. Right, beta. Next to magnetization. Magnetization is nothing but what? Net magnetic field. Okay. Yo, this is what I have taken a uh, rod. Okay. Iron core I have taken. I have taken a wire. I have wounded like this. I am supplying a current like this. Okay. Right, beta. So magnetization is generated by symbol I. So when I supply this one, okay, magnetic field will be produced inside that one. Okay. The net magnet dipole moment per unit volume is called as magnetization. Remember. Remember, please beta, remember this all formulas. Please, please, I am requesting you. Okay, right. Chalo. So, the net magnetic field intensity is equal to what you get beta? Mu naught into H plus I. Okay. Here, H is nothing but magnetizing field. H is nothing but what? Magnetizing field. I is nothing but due to the internal. Okay, due to the internal, all the molecule dipole moments we have so they will be aligned in a direction okay due to that one we get some magnetic field right due to internal components due to the internal component the magnetic field which is produced due to internal and external also okay due to this one the external magnetic field will be produced no? ah. h is due to the external magnetic field okay okay h is due to the external so we call it as a magnetizing field is it clear beta Okay, when you pass a current in this wire, what happened due to the internal component which is present inside this one, iron core, okay. Uh, so they will be aligned, uh, that dipole moment will be getting due to that one. We get some magnetic field, okay. And due to external, okay, due to current supply, of course, uh, when a current carrying conductor always produces the magnetic field, not due to that one, we get uh, some more magnetic field, okay. This is due to the external and this is due to the internal. Okay. Uh, remember beta. Please remember. Please remember. Okay. Right beta. So here I is directly proportional to H as see here internal magnetic field is directly proportional to H. Correct. So as external increases if the magnetic field is very high of course inside the magnetic field will produce also very high. Correct. So I is directly proportional to H, remember beta, please, 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 please remember all, okay? Remember all the formulas beta, this is my, okay? Heartfully, I am requesting you to remember all the formulas because 99% you'll get a formula based question itself, okay? In diaparine ferromagnetism, you have to open the NCRT book, you have to learn each and every line and you have to remember that one beta. That is a direct question you'll be getting from your NCRT book, okay? Right. 
So uh, if we remove the proportional symbol, we get a zeta. Okay, this was a zeta. Okay, this is nothing but what magnetic susceptibility. Okay, uh, susceptibility. It is magnetic susceptibility. Susception they have written here. Okay, it is magnetic susceptibility. Okay, ha. Huh. See here, this is what b not equal to mu not into h. This is if there is no uh, empty wala. Okay, nothing is there now. This is in space. Just I am passing a current like this. Okay, okay. Now tell me, is there any magnetic field produced? Yes, sir. Yes, so the magnetic field is produced inside this one. That is due to the external magnetic field. H only we get. Do we get I, sir? Nothing is there inside this one. Now. There is no rod at all. Nothing we have. Ah, if something is present inside this one, we get I. Nothing is there, now, sir. Ah, if there is nothing, then we get a uh, this one. If there is something is there. Ah, if like this, something is there, then we get this one. Is it clear, beta? Okay, this is in the presence of iron core. Okay, this is in the absence of iron core. Is it clear? Chalo. Now, so uh, the magnetic field. So what you get, beta? Mu naught into H plus I. We got na. If medium is present, okay, medium is nothing but that iron core is present. Okay, ah. H plus I, I equal to zeta into H we got, right? So if you take a H common, one plus zeta we got, correct? Uh -huh. So finally, finally, now see here, beta. Bm is equal to B naught into mu R, correct? Am I right? Yes. So see here, see here, B naught is equal to mu naught into H beta. Okay? Is it clear? Is it clear? Ah, this one we have discussed. Na in free space, this is what in medium, correct? This is what in free space. If this is what, if medium, if something medium is present, we'll get like this. Okay? So mu m is equal to mu naught into one plus zeta. Okay? So mu r equal to mu m by mu naught. Okay? So mu m by mu naught is what? One plus Zeta, okay, it is zeta, one plus zeta, okay, B M by B naught. Is it clear, beta? See here, mu naught. Here, mu M is equal to mu R into mu naught. We can write down this one now. So just uh, observe from here, beta. You will get this one, okay? Uh, very, very, very simple. Just, uh, just do the comparison yourself, okay? You will get a perfect idea regarding this one, okay? Is it clear, beta? Please learn all the formulas, okay? Please, beta, this is my request, okay? Is it clear, beta? Is it clear for everyone? You go for 1 plus zeta, I am writing the mu r, okay? Here, you go 1 plus zeta, you I have written the mu r, correct? Correct or not? So, in place of mu naught into h, mu naught into h, mu naught into h is what b naught have written here. Is it clear? Okay. Hmm. So, mu naught into h, mu naught, in place of mu naught into h, Okay, mu naught into h. I have written the b naught. Okay, finally we got this one. Okay, from here you can calculate yourself, beta. Mu or equal to what? B m by b naught. Okay, see here. Mu or equal to b m by b naught. Your mu m is what? Again we have to take the one plus zeta also. We can write down. Correct. So this is what mu m by mu naught also. Okay. So you can just compare this one. Okay, here mu naught is nothing but what? Absolute permeability and mu m is magnetic permeability. Okay, right, beta. Ha! Now this one is very, 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 very important. Okay, uh, the difference between the diapara and ferromagnetism. So now also I am repeating the same thing. Just open your NCERT book. Whatever the points it is present in your book, just learn all these things. Directly he will ask you the question. Okay. So here are the properties: diamagnetic substance, paramagnetic substance. And ferromagnetic substance have written the differences here. Just go through this one in your board exam also. He may ask you the question from this topic. Write the difference between these three. Okay. Just note down this one and write down in your. Uh, uh, if you get this one in your board exam, write down as copy paste. Okay. Go through this one, beta. All the points. Go through this one. Okay. Right. So it is sufficient. Direct question he will be asking you. Go through this all the things. Okay. Right, beta. So property. So nearly about 13, 13 points have taken. So from this 13 point, definitely you will get a one question, beta. Okay. These are the diagrams. Okay. Sure. So next one is what? Hutter says loop. So here is what? 
Hester slope shows the relationship between the magnetic flux density and the magnetizing field strength. Okay, the loop is generated by measuring the magnetic flux coming out from the ferromagnetic substance while changing the external magnetizing field. Am I right? So just go through this one. Do go through the diagram. Okay, right, beta. So next is a soft iron and the uh, next hard iron. The difference is also here. Okay, mainly you will get the direct question, beta. Just go through this one. Okay. Go through this one. Uh, soft and higher, hard mag uh, magnetic material. The difference I have written. Each and every point I have covered. Not more than this you would get. Okay. Maximum from this point you will get better. Okay. Just go through this one. Okay. So thank you so much, beta. I hope you have enjoyed the class. Right. So in this class I have covered each and every point. Mainly dia para and ferromagnetism. Please learn all the points. Directly question you'll be getting from there. Okay. Ah, if you miss the question from there, you may get a, a question from a uh, at the magnetism. Okay. So you may get a question. Okay. Uh, angle of dip he may ask you from a tangent galvanometer also he may ask you. Okay. Right, beta. So I sh shown you the difference uh, between the formulas present in electric charges and field and uh, magnetism and matter beta okay I hope you enjoyed the class okay right so uh, mainly write down all the formulas by heart all these things okay solve the numerical from any one of the book and prepare well okay so thank you so much beta let us continue in the next class bye beta